right, this is another one. Hmm, this is serious. Panic as violence erupts in Lagos community. Properties set ablaze. All right, the news in detail. Pandemonium broke out on Sunday afternoon, November 15, at Abraham Adesoya in Aja area of Lagos State, following multiple violence incidents that led to the intervention of security operatives. Within Nigeria land that there have been several clashes between factions of hoodlums in the area. A recent clash was followed by a series of robbery incidents on Saturday night which made security operatives to intervene to restore calmness on Sunday morning. All right, according to eyewitnesses, there were multiple gunshots in the area after the arrival of the policemen who raided a notorious ghetto known as Bola, where majority of the hoodlums used as hideout. Chaos, however, escalated after the security operatives departed from the area. Hoodlums were reportedly setting properties on fire and looting stores. The incident has caused traffic in the area. A video from the scene obtained by Within Nigeria shows residents living within the vicinity's camping for safety. All right, and as it is, a lot of people have reacted to this on social media. Well, and it is said that Aisha Yesufu, where are you? I know you may not have data to see these problems everywhere. People are afraid to live in their house, not to talk of walking freely in your area. All right. And so, okay. And um, someone is saying that at, according to Ely.80, I said that could this be the end result of hashtag answers? All right. That's a question. And um, someone there is now a booker. JP has said that they share na Igbo people can they cause this one too. All right, there is God. Though later, na go they say na Igbo people they cause some. Yes, yeah, see your robot out. See what they are doing. All right, Ebuka JP has said that so far on this one. And then uh, Derry Obuka underscore zero one has said that the legacies of Tinumbu and Satan Olu. The Guambna, hmm, that is serious. Well, a lot of people, as we speak right now, are not happy with the governor of Lagos State, Governor Songwolu. A lot of things have been heard so far. In fact, negative things have been heard so far about the governor of Lagos State, Governor Songwolu. A lot of people have said a lot of things, of which had included the fact that Songwolu was the perpetrator of the Lekki Toll Massacre. On the hashtag NSAS shooting that happened at Lake Ito Gate. A lot of them have said it. Even the Nigerian soldiers have said that. Why is it that Sonwolu is now denying that he, he, he invited us? Why would he say he did not invite us? That this is so so unfair. The Nigerian army have said it that they are not happy with the governor of Lagos State for denying the fact that he invited them for the Lekki massacre. Well, that has been said so far. Well, the good Lord will continue to help us. But one thing is, a lot of people have some people have said that Sonwolu is a perfect gentleman, but his stupidity has made him to get himself involved in this rubbish in this mess okay in what way a lot of people have said that because of godfatherism he had to listen to the person who brought him into power so because of the fact that he could not reject the the so-called power the authority that had been given to him by his master so he had to cooperate hmm that is serious well a lot of nigerians have said that you will definitely pay for this all right and that is that meanwhile a dark row has said that police should go and arrest the perceived supporters of the ensas protest and hold them responsible for this commotion at Aja now and freeze their accounts. Mm -hmm. All right, freezing their accounts. Okay, that's another one. Okay, and the Taiwo Akande has said that what as burning of properties. In fact, what the problem of people by burning properties and what is what has the burning of properties gotten to do with their problems? Wicked and devilish set of people. Hmm. 
This is serious. Lagos are chaos, are brothers. Okay, that's another what someone has said. I didn't get that. All right. Well, someone is saying here that why property? Why are you setting property ablaze? What is actually going on? Is that the solution to what is going on in that area or in Nigeria? Setting of people's properties ablaze is shouldn't be the right thing or the next thing to do while well, everybody is in this mess together then why are you not punishing your own brother this is so unfair and a lot of people are using this advantage to make money to loot shop to rob people of their hard end hard end property which is very very wrong well a lot has been said so far god should help us on this one we pray that the good lord will continue to protect this nation and that is it well it's happening in aja as at the time of filling this report but we are praying that the good lord will make this place to be calm hmm. because a lot have been said so far that hoodlums in that area are being traced are being pursued by security operatives and because of that they have decided to destroy many things and that area happens to be eyed out for bad guys for hoodlums and the likes and the rest of them well what is actually happening in lagos what is actually happening in nigeria wow this is serious well the truth of the matter is that it has been gathered that most of all these hoodlums they are the ones who are actually making things difficult for nigerians in fact nigerian citizens right now the essence that has been gathered that the essence to which they were burning properties and destroying in fact, burning police stations is the fact that they don't want police to distract them. Distract them in the sense that you no, know, most of them want to like be you no know, operating, be robbing people of their needs, and they believe that after they must have done that, nobody will be able to go to report to the police. Uh, since they have been able to burn the police station down. You understand things like that, but God is bigger than them. This period, the security men will be resuming any moment, and this stout will not have any way to proceed with their evil agenda. And that is it on this one, my people. Our prayer is that the good Lord will continue to protect this land. A lot of havoc is happening, man. My advice for everyone out there is make sure you don't keep late night and don't come out too early in the morning because the way they operate now is only god that will help us in this country well that is it my people on this one meanwhile let me have more takes from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless